Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing my 34 week pregnancy update. Please don't mind the sniffles. I am feeling a little bit under the weather lately and so if my voice sounds kind of funny and I keep sniffing, it's because I have a little cold still. I actually think it's possibly from pregnancy because I've had kind of a stuffy nose throughout this whole pregnancy and now it's a little worse so I'm not sure if I have a cold or if it's just a pregnancy symptom, but we'll see. Demetrius is about the size of a cantaloupe now and I now weigh 189 pounds so I've gained a total of 49 pounds since the beginning of my pregnancy but I've only gained one pound since my last update which was two weeks ago and that's totally fine because I have been feeling under the weather and not eating as much lately so I kind of figured I hadn't gained as much as I normally would have. His movements are definitely getting stronger. I notice him all the time now even when I'm walking around working when normally I wouldn't I would just be too distracted to notice, but now his movements are so strong that I can feel it all the time, and I feel these big swooping movements over on the right side of my belly as I'm walking around doing dishes or folding laundry or something, and it's really fun. I've been having more Braxton Hicks more often, and sometimes, especially in the evenings for some reason, they seem to be a little painful, like more the feeling of a period cramp and my stomach tightening which is interesting because I didn't have that with Sophia's Braxton Hicks attractions until my actual early labor. So it freaked me out a little bit the first time it happened, but I was doing some reading and it, it can be a little bit painful. And they're definitely not like full contractions. Like I know what those feel like and it's not that, but it's interesting that they are quite different from Sophia's. I just had a naturopath appointment because my naturopath has been out of the office for months. She's been on maternity leave. But I just wanted to get checked up and make sure my thyroid was doing well. If you guys don't know, I have Graves' disease, which is hyperthyroid. And during pregnancy, it actually goes lower, so I have hypothyroid during pregnancy. Thankfully, during this pregnancy, I'm not having to take anything for my hypothyroid. With Sophia's pregnancy, I had to start taking some herbs to bring it back up, which was really weird, because I've always had to take herbs to bring it back down. But with this one, it seems to be pretty good where it's supposed to be and hopefully I just don't have to take anything and she said that I don't need to come back until the baby's about a month old and I can come back and have us both checked out so that was really good but we do know now from when I had Sophia that after the baby's born my thyroid will probably shoot way up really fast and so she gave me my herbal tincture to start taking like the day the baby's born just make sure that we keep it like at hopefully a more even keel than with Sophia because we had kind of a scare with her where I thought I would have to stop breastfeeding when she was only three months old. Thankfully that didn't happen. Hopefully now that we know that that's probably going to happen again this time, we'll have a better handle on things. And I'm also going to need to start being more strict with my diet as soon as he's born. She ideally wants me to stay off of, like I'm already off of gluten. She also wants me to go off of dairy and grains if it's at all possible after the baby's born, which I know I won't be able to do that like totally, especially since people are probably going to bring us meals and I don't want to make it too hard on everyone. But for the most part, I will try to avoid those things. She also had me start taking an iron and a mineral supplement along with all the other vitamins I'm taking. She said my iron was looking pretty good last time she checked it, but just from back-to-back -back pregnancies, it's probably going to start getting depleted and so she just wanted to get on top of it. And then with the mineral, I guess the prenatal I've been taking is a little bit low in certain minerals and that could have partly to do with why I've been so stiff and my legs cramp really easily. So hopefully that helps. It hasn't yet. I haven't noticed a difference but I've only been taking it for a few days. But that would be amazing if that made that better because the cramps, the leg cramps have been terrible. And that brings me to my next thing is more muscle cramps, especially at night. If I have to roll over and use certain leg muscles to roll myself over because I'm so big now, my legs cramp so easily and it's ridiculous. I've also been having more heartburn and mostly at night and that wakes me up. I also have to pee 500 times a night it seems like, but so it's definitely been harder to sleep, that's for sure. <laughs> but I finally did get a body pillow and that has been a lifesaver. But even though I've been having I definitely a harder time with this pregnancy than with my daughter's pregnancy. I still so much enjoy being pregnant and I, I still don't feel impatient for him to get here. Like I'm just content 
being pregnant and I, I'm really hoping I can make it to my due date, but at least not yet. I haven't started feeling that impatience that women feel near the end of their pregnancy. I'm just content to still be pregnant and having him inside me and I know that's a lot easier in some ways and harder in some ways. So right now I'm just feeling content with still being pregnant but also just happy to meet him whenever he decides he's ready to come. So let's show you guys the bump. I'm always feeling his feet over here and they like just swoop all the way along my belly and it's so fun to feel and you can see it from the outside. So that's all for my 34 week pregnancy update. I hope you enjoyed this. I can't believe how close I'm getting. Hopefully I'll at least be able to do a few more of these updates for you guys. But I will see you in my next video. Bye!